I'm going to read to you. Is it morning? What are you doing? Says John to Kate. His arms and legs are still stifled in the sleeping bag. The hood's drawn up around his face, so when he sits up, the bag comes with him. I'm rolling, says Kate. I've been awake for ages. Kate rolls back and forth in her sleeping bag, on and off the roll mat. Each time, I get close to the side, she says. Don't touch the side, says John, as he loosens the drawstrings in his hood. You're not meant to touch the sides. I'm not, she says. I'm just rolling near the side. Is it morning? says John. It's been light for ages. Wouldn't it be cool if it was light all the time and never got dark? Yeah, but then when would you go to sleep? Kate stops rolling and sits up, hood still drawn around her face. Maybe you wouldn't need to go to sleep if there was no dark. Yeah, because you couldn't sleep in a tent if there was no dark. It's so bright. But in a house, you've got curtains. But if you didn't need to sleep, you couldn't, like, do loads of stuff all the time. You could have meals whenever. And But if you didn't need to sleep, maybe you wouldn't need to eat either. Like, are there animals like that? Don't know. I'm really hot. John throws open his sleeping bag. We had to do stories at school, and I made one up about a place where you played all the time. One room for archery, one for tennis, one for surfing. A room for surfing? Yeah, it was made up. You could make up whatever you wanted. Was there a room for other stuff, like eating and... Oh, one for going on long walks? Yeah, I didn't put that in, but that's a place where you could do pretty much anything. I don't think the long... I didn't think of the long walk one, that's cool. So you wouldn't need to eat, but, like, you could eat. Just nice things. And you wouldn't have to carry anything. I hate carrying stuff. And you wouldn't have to wear hiking boots. You could wear whatever shoes you like, like flip-flops or no shoes at all. And there's a room for old people and one for babies. But they can mix up if they like. John kicks his legs in the air. Is there any water left? Kate gets out of her sleeping bag, too, and rolls a water bottle across the ground sheet to John. Is there a room with a pool or a lake? Both. Oh, he takes a sip of water. The surfing room. So there's a normal door, but it opens onto a beach, and then there's the sea. And you can jump in. And there's people who tell you how to do it and everything. But you can't drown anyway. And I'd have a feast room. And a room full of drinks, says Kate. And everyone would be nice. And you'd already sort of know them. You'd meet someone, and it would be like you'd met them before. And they would want to be friends. And they'd be really interesting. And they'd always listen to you. And you could just wee anywhere. What? Gross. John kicks his legs. I need a wee, he says. Yeah, you could wee anywhere, and then it would just disappear or something, so it wouldn't be gross. Kate turns onto her side. Would you get sunsets? Whole room, with nice chairs. What about birds? I'd have a room which was outside, which had birds in it that chirped. And you could put food out for them. People like doing that, don't they? And animals. A room for dogs, where you can train them and take them for walks. But no scary dogs. Or maybe somehow you're not scared of the dogs anymore. I'm not scared of all dogs. I know, but like here, you wouldn't be scared of any dogs or anything. Not like burglars, says Kate. You wouldn't get burglars or they'd get turned nice. You can't have a place with no bad people really though, can you? You get bad people, Kate blinks. I know, but some people seem bad, but they're not really. John is now lying with his feet in the air, almost touching the torch hanging above their heads. You're not meant to touch the sides, says Kate. Like that lady with the chickens. Yeah, she's all right, really, isn't she, says John. She's not bad. Except I don't like the chickens, and she sort of shouts at us. But she's deaf, that's why she shouts. But we're not deaf. I know. Do you still need a wee? Yeah, but I can hold it. Wouldn't it be cool if we could already do stuff without having to learn, like cooking and sports and maths? Or if we didn't have to do homework? Kate runs her fingers over a stone trapped under the ground sheet. Or if somehow we wanted to do our homework? But would there be a school, though? And books would be easy to read and not take so long, says Kate. And nobody would have jobs, so we would always play. Some people like their jobs, so they could work. More like playing, anyway. 
What about the people who teach surfing and sailing and stuff? That's work. Oh, yeah. But you need people around to help. Yeah, like that lady at the store with the sweets in town. And that man who gave us an extra bread roll yesterday. He was nice. He had twinkly eyes, says Kate. Like Paul from football. And that lady from swimming. I love camping, says John. Wouldn't it be cool if we could live in a tent? He tucks his pyjama bottoms into his boots. But, you know, a tent with a water slide. Or something. He ducks his head and jumps out of the tent. I'm busting, he says. Kate lies on top of her sleeping bag and watches the sun on the canvas.